DaVinci Resolve is a good program, but it hasn't resolved my issues. I'll leave. Now before you DaVinci fanboys gather to protect your village from being plundered, just know that I switched to DaVinci from Premiere and I'm using it now. It's my number one go-to machine. It's not a machine. It's my hope that someone from DaVinci is watching this and they didn't think of that. Oh, we could change that. I didn't know. Thanks for telling us. That's the point of this video. There's a bunch of user error potential here, but I think it's problems with the program and maybe they can, if you have a fix for it, post it down below. But I'm going to tell you my quirks, things I hate. I hate them. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I'll probably do a video one day on how to edit videos, but I start off, I have this saved file. Don't pay attention to any of other <laughs> those freak videos that you see there. They're not real. So the first thing I hate, I have this saved file with a bunch of intros and my audio is all perfect. And it brings me to the deliver tab. It always leaves you in the tab you were last in. So I rendered my last video, but I saved this. It should be in the edit tab. Why are you ruining my life? So if you can get past that, you'll start editing a video. So let's do an example of the last video I made about the Fuji X-H2. So these are my files. We got five files here. In Premiere Pro, I would just drop them in the timeline. Boom, done. For some reason, DaVinci puts them in random ass order. 71, 67, 69. You figure it out. Why? Why would this ever be an option? So forget that easy life. Let's just clear these out. So you have to drag them here first and then here. And you can select an option where it's in order now. I just don't understand who would ever want a random order. You would never need that ever. I just, I wanna be confused here. And you'll notice there's a bunch of things like this that are just an extra click or two. If you wanna drag another file, Say you were making a title, so you're in the effects library. Okay, I'm in there. Oh, I need an, an extra clip here. Let me just grab this one quick. Where are you gonna put it? In Premiere Pro, I'd be able to hover over this media pool thing, it would switch to it, and then I would drop it there. But every time I just, oh, I'm a moron. I drop it, I go here, oh, let's do that again. That's like 15 clicks if it was a foot. And then we go in. That brings me segueing into another pain in the bitch. See, I'm scrubbing through here. Okay, what's the part? Oh yeah, the slow motion part, that's what I want. In Premiere Pro, you double click here, and then your thing, your marker's at that point, but it's not. So what's the point of scrubbing through this? It just brings you here to the beginning, and then you gotta do it again. Where's the slow motion? Oh, there it is. What a beautiful face only a mother could love. She loves it. Another pain in the bitch. Whenever I wanna drag, I have a couple files here that I often use for videos. Cripple Hammer. If I wanna shout out to Camera Canada, I usually bring this Camera Canada sign and then this thunder sound. In Premiere Pro, if I drag this, this folder will stay open. Oh, oh God, I needed the thunder sign. So now I gotta go back here, boom, 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 boom. I know you can select them both, but it's awkward. It's awkward, look at it. You bring this and that, and then it's like this double thing. It sometimes works, but if you have multiple things on your timeline, things get awkward fast. Another super annoying thing, stereo files sometimes show up as mono. It's so annoying, that shutter click, every time I make fun of a photographer, and I put that in there, it's left side only. For no reason, it's a stereo file. So I have to go and I even made a short key. You gotta go into audio, mono to stereo, switch that to that, okay, and now it's fine. Every time, in Premiere Pro you just drop it, it knows, drop it like it's hot. And speaking of audio adjustments, these are too drastic. I'm trying to like, it, it's always jumping so high. I wish it was much more fine tuned we should be able to like hold control and then it's like super fine, but it's always jumping. You see these drastic, like it's so hard to get it. The timeline, this thing jumps around sometimes. It never acts smooth. 
Let's see if we can do it. UTXH1 was a Did you hear that? It wasn't perfect. Like there, see it started from like midpoint. It's never, I can never tell how the video is going to be. Like what is these noises? And that timeline jumps around a lot when you're just making these basic cuts. Not all the time, but sometimes. See that? Where's that? Why is it playing from here? when I was way over here. Like why? And it does that all the time, it's so annoying. I think it happens when you're zoomed in like this. That brings us to another point, when you're in the color tab. Okay, say I want my Fuji LUT here. Okay, those shadows, they're a little dark. So I'll just minorly adjust them a tiny amount. Yeah, why would you do it now? Just to make me look like a fool. This thing jumps. There, <laughs> see, like everything just crushed down to the bottom and then it jumps back up to the top and it's like, why is it behaving like that? Another super annoying thing about color grading, say you got this kind of thing and you wanna tweak this color grade. So you go over to the color tab and then it's not even selected. The same clip you were selecting, it's now a different one. We're adjusting the adjustment layer. Like that's not what I wanted. This is highlighted. I want to color this clip. So I go to color tab and you're in some rant. There's so many times I've made the tweaks to that and then that ruined my whole video. I'm like, what the hell happened? I have a feeling if there's three files here, no matter which one you select, it'll go to the top one. Always. That's not what I want. Here's something fun. Say you make a, a little audio transition like this and then you realize, oh, I need it. I was off a little bit, so I'm just gonna delete this from here. Now what the hell? What is this? You cannot delete this chunk if you try it. What the hell was that? Because this is here, you cannot split it. Oh, that is irritating. You would have to like, okay, let me get here. And then, even then, even when you're touching it, if you're on this side of it, say you have that there, and you select this, you can press Q, and it will delete. What's the one to delete this way? Oh, I can't even find it. That would probably solve my life. Please let me know what it's called, the exact name for deleting to the left, and then I'll make it a shortcut and I'll shut up. But until then, I'll be screaming. One thing I do not like, when the cripple hammer comes in to attack me, and it's annoying when he does it. There's no smooth motion. If I wanna get him in here, say I want him to stop right there, in Premiere Pro, I could ease it in. Here's ease in, and then he would smoothly slide in like a smooth criminal. But look at this hard stop. What the hell is that? How is that eased? There's nothing smooth about that. Some other things, say if I wanna make this slow motion, I have a key here, press one, and that brings up the change clip speed, and I can do all that. Sometimes that just won't work for no reason. I don't even know how to replicate it. Sometimes it just doesn't work, and then I have to, I can totally just go here and enable the clip speed, change clip speed, and that'll work. But my short key will not work at times. And this being open is very annoying that I have to go all the way back. Which one is open? This one. Oh God, I have to click that again. Oh, you piece of shit. One of the worst things ever, DaVinci doesn't recognize GIF files. So you wanna save a GIF? Oh, I'll have a little 1920s dance. Oh, cool. All right, that's fun. I'll just put that right in there. Can't wait, oh. No, you don't, you don't know that. So you know what I have to do? I have to go to this GIF thing, browse, frickin' browse, tenor, upload it, convert it, save it, and now it'll work. Imagine this content not being in your life because DaVinci made it too hard. It's good content. Another thing, if you wanna copy attributes and paste them over, 
pretty easy. For some reason, some of these things do not work, like the fisheye correction. You can't do that here. Why isn't it in here? It'll change everything but, and why is this retime effects checked? If you do that, it ruins your audio. Well, it used to. It, like, it would shift your audio. It made no sense. But sometimes I vlog with a fisheye lens, so I like to change it, and it's like, okay, that's perfect. In order to change every clip, I have to keep going here. Okay, what was it? 0.28. Okay, change that one. 0.28. That's a good look. I like that. Who remembers the old cripple hammer? There's one thing about these animations. Oh God, why is that taking so long? Oh, the irritation to my soul. Oh, that hurts. My CPU just kicked into overdrive for no reason. Oh God, let's turn that off. I look like a retard. Oh damn that anchor point. That has messed me up more times than I care to imagine. So say the Canon cripple hammer gets angry. We click them there, move a couple spots ahead. Oh God, that anchor point. <laughs> I told you it messed me up. We would click there and then I'd like to return in Premiere Pro, I could reset it and that would create a new keyframe, but instead it just deletes everything. It goes back to the beginning. So like I have to sometimes manually go, oh, what was it? Zero. Perfect. I hate you, DaVinci. Something else super annoying, you can't blend in adjustment layers. So say I wanted to change my color grade. And so I often use adjustment clips. It's much easier. If I want to drop a Camera Conspiracies LUT on there from the Camera Conspiracies LUT pack that doesn't exist, Avatar LUT. Okay, I want to smooth it in. So you blend those, you can't, you can't. So it's just going to be this drastic, eh. You could do it if you color graded this clip, then you could blend them. But what about us adjustment users? One annoying thing about audio there's no click remover in all these things. Do you have any idea? Sometimes I'm walking, something's clicking. I don't know, against my tripod, I'm holding it. And it's like click, click, and my audio is just ruined. In Premiere Pro, I can go to Adobe Audition, and there's a click remover, and it just removes everything, every little click that you wouldn't want. They don't have it. Now, this may just be my preference, but... I don't like how they save things in here as my files. I liked how Premiere Pro did it where it was just a thumbnail on the desktop and I would have them all just above my folders and it was so easy and I could just delete it when I'm done. Whereas in here, I just I have to remember, oh, which video is uploaded? The title's different now, I don't remember. Is this, okay, that's done, delete those. Oh no, that wasn't even finished, oh God. I hate you, DaVinci. And sometimes when I render a video, I'll have these artifacts that just appear. And it's like, what is that? Like just blocky shit. And it's like, why? The video I just did had that. I have no idea why. It makes no sense. No matter what setting you change, MP4, MOV, it don't matter. So I think that's it for now. There's probably more things, but if you have any solutions to these problems, let me know. But otherwise, it's a good program. It's just, there's minor little things that just so let me know what other things irritate you about DaVinci and what they could fix. I didn't plug in my light the whole time. Oh, I could have been so professional and I wasn't. It's the Samsung autofocus. I'll leave. I'll leave. Thanks for buying a camera conspiracy t-shirt. Subscribe for all that I say in there.